And we just thank you for this time that we can come together here at the store, Lord, and have good fellowship, good friendship, Lord, good music. You just bless the ones that come to bring the music, Lord. The store itself is a hundred years old, and it has been a gathering place for this community for many decades and generations. And of course our ice cream, we have uh, great fresh Hershey's ice cream that we dip for you. We make wonderful shakes, malts, sundaes, uh, just about any kind of uh, variety of ice cream that you can think of. I'm sure it's for Roper, which are you know the old embroidered type, you know, Roy Rogers, straight up cowboy. Those are a lot of fun. We sell a lot of those actually to young people go into clubs. We sell a lot of candy and a lot of hot dogs. So most of our sales actually happen um, the day during the days because half the store gets put away on Friday nights for the music. We roll it all into the side room and fill back in with chairs, so there's more room for people and dancing. <laughs> Some players who we don't, we never met because they're dead, but they, but they play. The songs are from right around here, right up Floyd County, Montgomery County, Giles County, and it's fun to play a lot of songs that are super local. I guess another example of that would be Never Miss Your Mama. Old time music's a little different than bluegrass music and the sound of the banjo. And that's the only difference. I think that uh, the dancing is a lot easier with old time music than it is with bluegrass. A little bit slower beat so that you can really clog and flat foot. It's been around for a long time. It's good that it's staying alive. People are still playing. <laughs> Mostly, I think of myself as an improviser. Now. They have to recommend that they just at least learn to strum and chord. That'll help them a lot when they uh, start with the other people. And don't forget the vocals. The vocals are probably more fun than their instruments playing those. That's, uh, that's probably the best payoff is the vocals. Uh. Jamboree has been going on since the early 80s and it started when a group of local musicians uh, started getting together in the, in the feed store here and uh, sitting around the coal stove they would uh, bring their fiddles and banjos and, and play and hang out uh, and it became an event because an audience appeared and then dancing appeared. Dancing is something you can hardly avoid if you come here often. Uh, yeah. And the music is so powerful that once you get out on, this, on the floor, just about anyone will find themselves moving in time to the music. There are some just really good dancers here, people who've learnt from their uh, moms and dads and their grandparents, uh, who just carry on tradition. <laughs> Yeah, we've just been lucky enough that, that um, a lot of old players um, over the years have showed us stuff, little bits, and uh, as best we can, we try to 
pick it up, give it another breath. Every week there's someone from another continent. It's really rare that there's not someone from Asia or um, New Zealand, Australia, Japan. They all have really good bluegrass followings and they find their way here, which is amazing. Bluegrass music, it's got to have drive. It's something you can't describe. Uh, it's like trying to describe the taste of salt. You just can't do it. 